Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you. What'd you guys think of my Walmart favorites? The last two days I've put out two videos if you haven't seen them, just of my Walmart things that I just absolutely love. What'd you guys think of that? If you like it, maybe I'll do it again in the future when I have enough things gathered up to actually show you. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this um, Dollar Tree haul. My desk is a mess. I have quite a bit of stuff on here. We found some different things that I want to show you. I'm going to go ahead and show first just a couple food items. Not many. And you guys noticed in that one video, a few videos back, I had no food in it. No food, no snacks. That's not like me. But this time, there's just a couple food items. They had these, and I've never seen them before in the Dollar Tree. These are Chicken of the Sea brand. So brand name, and these are tunas. And this one says it is naturally smoked flavor. It is a 2.8 ounce little tub of it. 20 grams of protein. That just sounds good. And you can, I don't know if you could see it in there in the bottom. And it says that it has um, infused with extra virgin olive oil, herbs, and spices. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And then the other flavor that they had was cilantro and lime. And these are called infusions. Tuna with extra virgin olive oil, herbs, and spices. And also 20 grams of protein. I love tuna. I will, I will literally just open a can of tuna and eat it straight out of the can. Just a little bit of salt and pepper, eat it directly out of the can with a fork. Drain it, of course, but I'm really curious to try these. If you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. I've never seen them in the store before. You just never know what you're going to find at the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up a few more of these little decorated cookies, Christmas cookies, to put in as like stocking stuffers. I like these. Some people say they don't like them at all. I personally do. I'd use them as dipping cookies in coffee. I think they're delicious. And they're so cute. And they are the Amera Cookies hand decorated cookie, and it's a 2.12 ounce. And these were the only ones that I could find. So I got the gingerbread person, and then the Santa's belt ornament. So I just grabbed one of each of those. And then I think they have one that's a snowman, and I think the other one is a Christmas tree. But these were the only two that I could find, and I needed two more. So I just grabbed one of each of these. There were a couple of these that were all broken up. So just be careful if you're gonna pick these up, make sure they're all in one piece. I like them. Let me set those over here so they don't get broken. I needed a few more of their paperware items for Thanksgiving and then a little bit afterwards. So I picked up one more pack of each of these. These are their, um, Paper plates, and you get 18 plates in here, and they're an 8.75 inch diameter. I think these are just gorgeous. Great for leftovers, great for dessert. You know, if you have like a little buffet set up that people are munching beforehand, a vegetable tray, charcuterie board, great to have like for that type of thing. Throw it away, not a lot of dishes to wash. So picked up one more pack of these. Picked up these napkins to go with it because I think they coordinate beautifully. They're like the plaid. And you get 24 napkins on here and they are a 13 inch square. I think they're gorgeous. They did a great job this year. And then they have these little, little cups, little serving cups. And they're just called a cup and you get six pieces in here and they hold eight fluid ounces. And it's that same design as the plates. So pretty. So these will just be used for, for leftovers, that type of thing. But I like having these on hand. Is it a better deal getting a big pack of plates from somewhere else? Yes, but these make me happy. I just, they put me in the holiday spirit. They're pretty. So I grabbed one more of each of those. And then one of you had asked me several videos ago what hand cream I use. 
This is what I've been using now for probably a year and a half. I have tried some other things and I keep going back to this and I was almost out. This is the Utterly Smooth Hand Cream. It's a two ounce squeeze tube. And it says original formula for rough, dry hands absorbs fast without greasy residue. And this has been made in the USA since 1978. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. It's a nice little tube. I can fit one in my purse, which I do have one in my purse. I think this is great. It does the job. I do not like lotions, hand lotions especially, that stay greasy and wet on my hands. This doesn't do that. It absorbs quickly. It, it's just awesome. $1.25 for this two ounce tube. And this lasts me a very long time. I think it's a great deal. And then um, I passed up what was in my thumbnail, guys. Did you see these? Look how pretty these are. These are stockings. These were the only two color combinations that I saw. One is like the burlap look, tan, off-white, whatever you want to call that, with the red, red ribbon, really pretty tucked, whatever you want to call that. What do you call that? Like pleated ribbon, the trim there, and then with the red stripe. And this one is exactly the same, but in black. I think these are gorgeous. But honestly, what I, I don't think I'm going to use these as stockings. I think I'm going to use these and turn them into pillows. Why not? Let me take this off here. All oh, the little plastic thingies are going to be stuck in there. Those things drive me nuts, the little plastic tag things. You can take all this stuff out. Take the little, they have a little piece of cardboard, thin cardboard. Why can't you stuff this and then just hot glue it or stitch it across the top and make a pretty little pillow to put on your couch or if you have a, a pretty rocking chair or whatever. So that's what I think I'm going to do with these. I think I'm turning them into pillows. I think they're beautiful. The little toe area could have been better, but it seems like it comes to a little point, but that's all right. I think they're beautiful and I don't remember these from last year. If you're going to use them for stockings, you, if you have a one of the um, like Cricut or whatever their those machines are, you could you could customize these. So nice. And the back is kind of like a um, it's a different fabric. It's like a felt, a thinner felt fabric on the back. Now, so these aren't the best quality in the world, and I don't see a hanger. Oh yes, there is. There's a little white a white ribbon hang thing on the inside. You could really make these gorgeous if you wanted to. So just picked up one of each of those colors. And then in the craft section, they had these. What I'm gonna do with this, I don't know. Maybe I'll pass it along to the, the grand ladies, see what they can come up with. But these are interesting just for the beads alone. For $1.25, you could make a gorgeous wreath out of this, add just some greenery. It's like, that's all the rage right now. Everybody's making these just a partial, you know, greenery on it. What do they call this? A wood bead wreath, and it is 10 inches in diameter. But you get a lot of beads on here. You'd have to take it, the wire apart to get them off if you wanted them off. But I think that is really cool. And this was the only color of beads that they had, just this natural. So I have no idea. I don't know if there's other sizes. I don't know if there's other colors. I don't know. But I thought that was really interesting. So I just grabbed one. And then they had these pretty little Christmas angels, which you could keep these out, have it out all year long. But I had to pick up this one because it says peace at the bottom. And she has her outstretched hands, beautiful wings. You could really deck her out. You could glitter the wings if you wanted, but I just think it's so pretty. It is tin and it's open down here. You could also, if you have one of the little tiny Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree, you could use one of these as the tree topper. And I believe they also had ones that said hope 
and joy. And I also saw them in a silver, like a regular tin color. But this is white, like a white washed. And if you hear something outside, no, that's not hubby. That one of the neighbors is either mowing the grass, mowing the leaves, or blowing the leaves from his yard. Not quite sure what that noise is outside. But I just thought these were super pretty. And they're a nice size. So just grab that one. And then I said it in one of my last videos, we delivered our Toys for tot Tots bins. And these are what I used, different colors of course, but I, I did three this year filled, heaping filled with stuff for Toys for Tots. So I need to replenish. I just left, left the bins right with the stuff. I put it right in the box, the Toys for Tots box, right in the bins. So I need to replenish and I'm gonna start for this, not this Christmas time, but next year. And I was very happy with what we donated. So that's what this is for. I like their these bins, they're nice. They have a handle on one, just one side. I wish they would put a handle on the other side as well, but I think these are okay. And they have the, um, somewhere in here, there is like a cardboard piece that you, put in the bottom. You just flatten, put it, put it down in the bottom and it keeps it much more secure. So yeah, that's what this one is for. And I'm not quite sure if these will go in it or if one of the grand ladies will decide they want it. But I thought these were so cute. They have all these little dollhouse things. This is, I guess it's a dining room table with four chairs and the pretty little girl. And she is dressed in pinks and purples with pink shoes. And be careful if you're gonna pick these up because I saw one just like her that she was missing a shoe and it wasn't even in here that I could see. So kind of pay attention to those kind of little details. But this one is like the dining room. And then this is her friend and this is a little bedroom set. It has the bed and a dresser, I guess like two dressers. I think that's what that is. Is that a dresser down here? I guess. And then the smaller like nightstand. So everybody needs a friend. So I picked up one of each of those. And then you need a dog. If you're gonna have a little house, you have to have a dog. So this has two little pups in here. One is a darker shade of brown, a little long haired pup. And then he looks like maybe a little, little, um, what is that? Like a jerk, not a German shepherd, like a golden retriever. He's like a gold color. And it has their little food bowl and a, a grooming brush. And then the bed is underneath and then the pet carrier. So every little kid, every little girl needs a dog. So then I need to look for, see if they have these in cats. I couldn't find, find them in cats, but I thought the dogs were cute. So I'll be on the lookout for those. So I don't know if these will go to the grands or if they'll, they'll go in the toys for tots bin. And then guys, I think the last thing is this. They had these really pretty over the door hooks. And these, this label looked different. It's, it is by Greenbrier, but this labeling is different for me. And it says laundry essentials over the door hooks. These feel so sturdy. It's like in the black metal. I think it's metal. Yeah, it's metal. But it has four, four hooks across the top and then four ho hooks across the bottom. And then you, you just hang that over your door, the top of your door. So I thought that was really nice. This is for in our bathroom. I didn't see this in any other color or anything like that, but very nice quality, very sturdy. I mean, you can't bend this. You could if you really, really wanted to, but that's gonna hold a couple tiles on there. Very nice. So I think that is it, guys. I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna go and make myself something for lunch like I normally do. I'm hungry. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.